Hi, this is gonna be about um, the various kinds of research that I do in researching research or re-research <laughs> of what others researched and search for whatever uh, things that they're focused on so I have a lot of tabs open to just show you what kinds of things that I want to generally focus on in sharing what I think are some suppressed people out there whose works should be looked into and I'll put a link to the tabs and yeah but let me start with this tab which is the academia page of John Gabriel and if you read I'm just gonna just scroll down and you guys could just see what kinds of topics that it goes into and you can just download them for free even without a academia.edu account and um, this one's very important people really really don't understand this which is kind of hilarious when people s try to critique me for supposedly be on the side of uh, academics but if anything, I'm really trying to tr trying to um, synthesize to, towards my own understanding and clarity of how to convey and come to understand and express um, the findings that I've made in my own work. Uh, let's move on to this tab Pierre Marie Robitello I don't know if I pronounced it wrong I don't, I don't speak French and um, these you could download them for free as well and um, the reason why I bring it in up Pierre Pierre Robitello is because there's some people that follow me that don't understand the nature of the sun that the sun has a surface to it a tangible surface that's not just gas and I'm just sharing this because I think he's not understood by many and I think his work is worth looking into even if you disagree on some aspects of the things that he talks about nevertheless um, many of it is worth considering to progressing hard physics research which is one of the things that I'm interested in as a side hobby in general in looking up these things and trying to understand things for himself and why there's a liquid metallic hydrogen lattice structure in the, in the surface of the sun and not in the center and the reason why I bring this guy up is because he fundamentally gets into answering some questions that Ken Wheeler and Eric P. Dollar doesn't understand which is really interesting as to understanding why black holes don't actually exist at least from the paradigm of uh, hard physics and what can be deduced based on what we already know from it without relying on 
latter day nonsense, which is also important to be aware of where some of those nonsense came from, which is why I think John Gabriel is helpful in trying to understand why or the kinds of fallacies that scientists have to in at least in modern uh, cosmology and such and moving on this is Paris Bolter's new concepts in gravitation article which she has uploaded um, not uploaded um, she has this pit this um, article expounded upon in her gravitational force of the sun book but she's pro kepler which is and you know some crazy stuff right there <laughs> but the reason i was interested in her work is because she disambiguates lots of concepts that isaac newton did understand and Although she's pro Kepler, which I'll get into later as to why Kepler is wrong, she gets she um she gets into yeah, this this part all the way to the end. This is pretty much the core of what she is trying to convey as to why um, there's a way to arrive to the circular force as she coins the term one spotter sub C which is conveyed in terms of the inverse square of the circle which is my interest because it has to deal with squaring the circle which is why this figure here is wrong because it uses the false pi uh, measure that is not properly um, corrected in light of um, phi based proportionality which is a huge topic in itself that I didn't write up anything on because some of these things you have to make for yourself on GeoGebra or whatever and analyze it for yourself and which that's the point of my whole art book well the, the square circle parts of my art book at least and she also conveyed the magnetism, um, not magnetism, I'm going to say, um, gravity in terms of joules in force and joules, which, if you really think about it, this is what she has done in unifying. Uh, gravitated to electricity at least in a um, at least in composite matter but she hasn't really get, gotten into explaining or coming to understand the nature of the proton or protium and she's supposedly working on the studying and uh, researching on the gravitational force of the proton or something or was it the photon i'm not sure but she's working on another book but i'm not sure if she's alive because her old website is gone parisbolter.com or something of that so i don't know Maybe she'll come back, maybe not, I don't know, but 
All this talk about Kepler that she has in her gravitational force of the sun book made me suspicious as to whether or not Kepler was right about uh, elliptical orbits and the nature of analemmas and such. So before I get to the Tycho's geoaxial binary solar system paradigm, let me just show you the math that this random guy on online has come to understand the nature of uh, analemmas, which people tell what, which um, modern academia claims that it's um, it uses um, how do I say elliptical orbits and all that but eccentricities and all that it's really it's really not what you think it is especially if you look at it look at this website no article on this guy's website that I have no idea if it's a guy or not actually but I just I've seen this being posted some I think, at least last month I guess and on Hacker News I don't like Hacker News by the way I'm not a Reddit editor or you know lobster news guy and um let me just sh show you just some of the uh, applets that this guy made and this this part this part really really made it clear to me that there's the that it's really not using you know elliptical stuff it just looks like elliptical because it's tilted the obliquity the vernal equinox just rotates the thing and the eccentricity moves the the thing if you get what I mean by things I probably don't so that's eccentricity zero so with the more eccentricity it looks like that so this rotates the thing based on the obliquity and the vernal equinox which rotates the plane so it's big and anyways the celestial sphere concept is not using uh, celestial el ellipsoidals even though it might be more accurate it's hard to model and fundamentally speaking if you cannot really model it using um, spheres you don't really understand uh, astronomy which is a big claim in itself but why I say that well I was really wondering if the nature of gravitational circular motion was at least in space in empty space or more uh, how do you say whether or not they're circular or more ellipsoidal but that's where Tycho's comes in or the Tycho's the S is for Simon Schack the guy who has done the research to um, exposing the nature of uh, the geoaxial binary solar system which 
It's a semi-tyconic system based off of Tycho's Brahid and um, it's actually not um, that far off from a Indian uh, astronomical astronomical research uh, Patani Samantha's model of the geohedocentric model and Tycho Brahe's despite of uh, being uh, two separate uh, cultures and I'm just skipping around just to show you guys some things and so really there's uh, hypertrochoidal patterns that Kepler basically misunderstood and even Kepler has shown this diagram Kepler not, not Brahe but Kepler showed um, hypertrochoidal movement which is using circles within circles fundamentally and not using any um, ellipsoidal stuff and so called loops are of the ellipsoidal not the ellipsoidal nature but it's more of the hypertrochoidal nature of the orbit and there's lots of other stuff mentioned in this but here's a bunch of conclusions why our sun has a binary companion why only mercury and venus have no moons <sighs> i'm not going to read out everything here but i'm just going to slowly scroll down to explain that there's lots of problems that were resolved through this and there's a the important part that he gets into the analemma that this guy's website at least probably does much of it and people use some um, people use We'll try to use the well you could use the search bar thing here yep here it is right there people use quantum physics and quantum nonsense to try to ex explain things but all the ultimate explanation of those things I really Nothing other than um, misunderstanding of the nature of how or how the geoaxial binary solar system model actually works, and it's a whole rabbit hole for in itself, and I cannot explain everything, and I will be doing disservice if I were to explain everything. So do look into it that's the link space. and now i'm gonna move on to another topic this one is about health and psychobiology and this guy's website is very interesting uh, he gets into various concepts of the nature of health and its relation to um, the, the needle juice as well as how certain things can mediate those problems so this okay this article he gets into um, the nature of consciousness and the relationship that certain things have to the body and um, this article
Goku gets into the relationship between this psyche and the body in biological systems and how certain trauma can be resolved which leads to resolving bodily problems as well so he gets into the mind body relationships really well though he doesn't understand um, Neoplatonism nevertheless this guy's research made me aware of the German New Medicine thing which you could get a free download on this website free-new-medicine.com just click on whatever language you wanted to and download the book and you could ignore the other three they're really not that uh, useful since all the other contents are in the main book which here's the table of contents which this gets into lots of stuff as to why what kinds of uh, problems that people are not problems are more like um, realizations of the nature of living systems in at least in the human body and the paradigms that the body relies on but it's not um, how do I say it? not everything's accurate on here and you don't need to look into it too much if these things if these kinds of topics don't really matter to you if you're say um, if you're more spiritual advanced um, now let me get to the homeostasis stasis protocol this guy Dimitri Katz he's very smart and uh, Anyways, I'll try to say, um, Dimitri Katz was censored so many times off of uh, Twitter that I looked into him and I, I looked into the, the things that he said on Twitter and yeah, I was very intrigued by the claims he made and the sources that he cited and been looking up his um, re-research since she since he is an epidemiologist that's pretty much his his job so to speak to re-research research and they took it took quite a long time to for him to get to the current protocol which you're seeing right in front of you on this page homeostasis.com with the three for the e for the first e oh, wait yeah there's no f other e than in homeostasis oh. and all the mm, all the fake health guru people they already got some ideas from Dimitri first and then they claim that they know better than him when in reality they don't know anything and they promote um, they promote taking excess unmethylated uh, glycine supplements which would accelerate um, it will accelerate uh, methylation problems because those glycine supplements especially the magnesium glycine supplements that 
I start this on one of the shows for uh, shows and um, claims that it's doing all these things, but it's probably really causing more schizophrenic behavior, really. But that's another thing altogether. Nonsense drama. And, um, so I got into, um, mathematics, um, astronomy, I guess, field theory, um, psychobiology or psychiatry in a psychobiological context in New German medicine and um, and Dimitri Katz is um, targeted nutritional research and there's a lot of things that never even got into explaining at all but I can't really do any justice in doing that and I think Dimitri Katz has um, uh, he has a telegram and a, a rumble account and he also has a YouTube account but the sad thing is his videos on there was taken down or hidden I guess I guess um, there's lots of report uh, flaggers of his videos which is sad that there's so much people that don't understand uh, brilliance when they see it and here's all the other channels that I have um, on this channels page that I find interesting but not necessarily agreeing with every single thing that they say okay I'm not that kind of person but at least this guy is looking worth looking into if you're not understanding um, much about why I really find certain types of people that are promoting one thing yet at the same time promoting quantum physics like fundamentally hypocritical in not being able to understand the nature of nature and using that um, delusional stance of quantum physics as means to promote um, various other religions, which there's lots of online. Uh, well, but that's other, another kind of rabbit hole that I won't get into. And yeah. There was checking at least mm, once a month if you don't subscribe to them or anything. Or, yeah, I've said enough, I guess. So that's so these things pretty much sums up like two years of re 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 researching, I guess, that I've been doing. Um, at least before I, I even made a YouTube account, for, I, mean, I already had a YouTube account, but I mean like uploading stuff on YouTube. And yeah, if you guys got any questions, just drop it down in the comments of this video. and. See you guys later, I guess.